Now, let's talk about this. Oh boy, fam. This is the spiciest. Oh, straight into the... Straight into the, the the fire. Straight into the big Indo scandal, because we always start off with the big Indo scandal in the intro yeah, of this on, on the streams. The, we, we always start Indonesia. off with that, so we're gonna start off with the big Indo scandal. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, KPI, the organization known to censor all forms of media, sexual or degenerate content, is caught on a sexual harassment scandal. Ooh, just of just course. just of course, of course. Of course. It's to be expected every single time, right? Every single time, there's a moral busybody coming in and try to morally give morality police to everybody. It turns out these people are just the worst of all, right? If I say that at this point, I might get yeah. freaking arrested, right? Because seriously, though, <laughs> but seriously, there's a lot of... Well, it's, public. It's, it's public knowledge at this point. Public it's knowledge. public you're, knowledge you're at this point. There's a lot of trash is. talking and copy at this point, right? But hey, uh, just to put you all in context on the kind of things that Kapi did, I decided to Google all of them, and I mean, <laughs> yeah, you do know that they censor, they censor Sandy's Sandy every time Sandy uh, is on her bikinis, like they, they censor it, like th- th- every like, time, legit. every single every time, time, every time. <laughs> Every time Sandy Sunday weekend, they censor it. It just blur it right there. And there's like an anime was like playing, right? And they just decided to zoom in, zoom into that. If they're the characters wearing swimsuit, yeah. they every, zoom like, into the head <laughs> of the character. Every time there's like, if you are wearing a swimsuit, uh, they, either they blur it or they zoom to your face. But that's not the worst case. The worst fucking case, in my opinion, is like when 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 we're watching Naruto. When you watch Naruto yes. on global TV, yes, because I mean, yeah, it's Naruto. They're gonna fight, of course. It's fucking Naruto. Yeah. like like like, like it, it makes sense. Every time they fight, if you see any drop of blood, the screen will turn black, black and white, uh, black and white. The screen will turn black and white so that you don't see the blood. And then sometimes it also have the both black and white and also Dog. focuses on the Dog. face, like zooms on the face. Dog, when I watched Naruto back in the day when I was a kid, that wasn't even a thing. That wasn't even right. a thing when I watched Naruto back in, back in the day. Right? Exactly. That wasn't even a thing. Now it's gotten worse and worse. I find that insane. It's freaking insane. Right? But it got worse. Dumb. <laughs> like exactly, dude. Why? Look, if you make it like this, you make it seem as if the character is actually naked. naked yeah, it's it's dumb. <laughs> God damn, just so dumb. Oh, <laughs> it just you see the got you see TV RJT. Come on, in the home for life, man. In the home for life. In the home for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. It's it's, it's it it makes it much much. Worse, it it's, it's as if the character was naked. It, the, the censorship only made it worse. So good job, good job, KPI. Good job, whoever is responsible on this censorship. <laughs> this Seriously, is the same thing. This is the same thing as you played yourself. You played yourself. This is the same thing as as as, as uh, Pyra and Mithra and Smash. <laughs> make it look hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, Pyra, Mithra, and Smash. They got the thighs. They got the leggings and everything like that. They they quote unquote censored them, man. but there are people who are into that sort of thing and they're. They're much, they're much sexier. They, they got hornier in that case. <laughs> so again, it's dumb. But the accusations, man, dog. Oh my god, this is holy crap. Now these are all in Indonesians, obviously. I just decided to put all of these in archive. But clearly, most of y'all are not Indonesian, so not a, not all y'all know what is all read. So here's the English version. I w- translate everything for you, y'all. 2012 to 2014, the victim, wh- who is a man, by the way, right? Yeah. Bullied and forced to buy food for the senior partners, even though they are the same position. Bullying, intimidating, hitting, belittling, patronizing, all instances and that sort of stuff. At 2015, the victim was detained, stripped, and then have his balls scribbled, scribbled with marker. And then the person, there's another guy who documented that incident, took a picture on that and said... We're going to spread this picture to everybody. And I'm like, what? You're, you're dumb. You're, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. He, he should have called on, his, on their bluff. Personally, if, if, I got, if I got into that situation, there's like, I'm going to post pictures of your boss and send it to your family. It's like, good. Send it to everybody. Why? Because you're going to be charged with revenge porn. And uh, now, 
everybody will know that I have Jin evidence you. on you doing it to me. Idiot. Anyway, the victim, a man, is traumatized and ended up screaming in the middle of the night. Yeah, he got PTSD out on that. Straight up. And it continues. Duh. 2016, continues, to, continues stress caused illness and panic attacks. And 8 July 2017, victim went to the hospital for end endoscopy. Result is gastric hypersecretion due to stress. At a resort at event, at 1.30, during sleep, victim was thrown into the swimming pool. And they all laugh at his suffering. Wow. Seriously. It's insane. It's absolutely freaking insane. 11th of August, 2017. Report to the human he the victim reported to the Human Rights Commission. They told him to report to the police. The police didn't do nothing. <laughs> the, the police. The psychiatrist gave medicine to calm him down. And then in 2018, victim becomes a loner in Musola, in the prayer room. Becomes a loner. Again. The bully spread lies about the victim leaving work. Even though it's him dealing with trauma because him being a loner and then he went to the police again but the police said to complain to the superiors at the office he did and he got transferred but the bully still demean him calling him a snitch and a coward and wait i'm, I'm just gonna wait out until the, until the end of this I, 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 are you saying that i'm not gonna report to the superiors for that sort of behavior Snitch and Okara, how fucking right I am a fucking snitch for that shit. This shit isn't acceptable. The bullies are never punished or called out. The victim's bag and chair were thrown out with a writing that says, This chair has no one in it. Christ. The people at work is not shocked, as if the bullies are untouchable. It's to be expected. It's just, it's just a thing, apparently, that happens in the office of KPE. Apparently. The victim is diagnosed with PTSD. Victim reported to the higher us, but despite being transferred, the bullying continues. The police doesn't take his story seriously. Seriously. My God. And the victim called out everybody. The names. Ooh, damn. Straight up called the names of the people who did who did what they did to him, right? Right? Rahman Muslim alias Olim. Is the PR division protocol section in Cape Central forced the victim to buy food for him? Racial slurs, dasar padang belit or greedy padang prick. Okay, other slurs like banci lo, which is like saying you that word, right? You know, you know. Leader of the stripping incident. The leader of the stripping incident. Sexual abuse, verbal abuse. Accused the victim's father of being a sick man because he used dirty and corrupt money. Wow. Straight up, dude. My God. This guy. And these two. Visual data division. They bullied the victim and said, Your dad's a sick man. You're not married. You're still a virgin. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. Wow. Amazing. Just, I, I'm, I'm seriously, I can't believe I haven't played Voss on this one, but just. I'm sorry. Do you have any fucking idea how rude that was? When even Voss is calling you out for how rude that was, you know you fucked up, right? Yeah. You know Seriously. You up. Helping on the stripping incident, kick on the victim's bench when resting to intimidate, and then threw the victim to a pole 2017. Then a guy, another guy, visual data division, played a role in the victim, played a role in the stripping incident, hit the victim in the head in the fifth floor, verbally abused the victim with vulgar and dirty words. Seriously, it's insane. And this is the guy who took a picture on the victim's genitals. Dumb. Dumbass. Threw the victim's back and chair outside the office and wrote, this chair has no one in it. Yeah. Victim pretty much publicly called out everybody who has wronged him. And guess what yeah, happened? Exactly. I, I was about to ask. I was about to ask. Like, then, then how did they how did they find out about this? How did they find out about this? How, how did they expose this? Uh, who, who, who exposed what? Who find out about what? Yeah. Who, so the victim, the victim is like coming out essentially. The, the victim is yes. the one who's coming out. Yes. In this case. Yeah, the victim's coming and, out. And and that was like when? But where was that? Was that like very, very recent? Very recently. It's everybody's talking about this on, on, on the news. Yeah. It's, it's it's been popping left and, and right because it's, it's a huge cancel, scandal. Cancel KPE, man. Yeah. It's a huge freaking scandal. Right? And guess what? A lot of these people have Instagram. Guess what happened? Duh. Locked. 
Uh-huh. All their Instagrams locked. And KPI pretty much confirmed that they're all gonna be fired. And they said, we're dealing with this with the authorities, we're dealing with everybody involved, etc., etc. The typical PR stuff that they yeah, tried to damage PR. control this situation as much as possible. But it's still the fact that this continues for like years and years and years. And it was a guy who was bullied. It was like a guy who was actually sexually bullied. Sexually, this is his actual sexual assault. Straight up. And apparently this is a typical thing that happens. They're not shocked about this. The bullies are just untouchable. This is just a normal work that happens in there. It's insane. It is insane to think about it. My God. 